Objection. The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, the President's legacy of tragic failure is more revealing every day as refugees flee conflict with children drowning at sea. He should change course to build peace and avoid murderous attacks on American families. I appreciate the Washington Post editorial page editor, Fred Hyatt, who clarified last week, quote, he withdrew all U.S. troops from Iraq when experts advised that a residual force of 15,000 could help keep a fragile peace. He bombed Libya to overthrow a opposed a small NATO training force that might have stabilized the new government, end of quote. The President's failure to en enforce a declared red line in Syria, the President's abandonment of the people of Iraq, the President's capitulation to the autocrats of Iran, allowing the nuclear development, and the President's betrayal of Israel has been catastrophic and has created chaos. It is not too late for the President to change course to promote peace in the Middle East, to allow safe havens for Islamist radicals abroad as a threat to American families at home. Senator Lindsey Graham tells the truth. In conclusion, God bless our troops and may the President, by his actions, never forget September 11th and the global war on terrorism.